Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2011 movie Friends with Benefits. It's time to recall. Let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see Dylan, who is always busy at his job and is never able to spend time with his girlfriend, and she is not happy about it at all. One day, they plan on going to the movies, but Dylan again ends up getting late, and his girlfriend ends up breaking up with him, telling him that he has no time for her, so there's no point in being in a relationship with him. In the meantime, we see a girl named Jamie who is also busy at her work, and she is not able to give any time to her boyfriend either, and she is not even able to connect with him, so he also goes on to break up with her as he tells her that he is sick of the fact that she is never emotionally available. She tells him that she is really busy at her work, but she still believes that her Prince Charming is out there, and he is going to come for her one day. We learn that Jamie is an executive recruiter for a leading job agency in New York City, and we then see that Dylan is on his way to New York as he has gotten a job offer there. He is basically from LA. We learn that Jamie has the task of trying to recruit Dylan to interview for a job with GQ magazine and begin working in New York City. Dylan comes to New York, Jamie goes to pick him up at the airport, she goes on to tell him that this is going to be a great opportunity for him, but Dylan does not seem too serious about it because he does not feel like living in New York as he loves LA. They go to the company where the interview is to be conducted, and after interviewing for the position, he learns from Jamie that he has been given an offer to work for GQ. At first, Dylan is hesitant to accept and move from his home in Los Angeles to New York, but in an effort to get Dylan to accept the job, Jamie spends the evening taking him around the city trying to sell him on the opportunity and the city. Dylan then takes him out. They go to different places and she brings him to a really high rooftop. Jamie tells him that whenever she is upset, she always comes to this place because she loves the view from here. Dylan also likes the view and then they talk about Dylan's dad who also used to be a successful writer and Jamie also knows about his dad. Jamie then asks him how his dad is going to feel about him moving to New York and Dylan tells her that he is always supportive of whatever he does so his dad is going to be okay with it. They then get out of that place and she takes him to a place where she shows him thousands of people dancing to a pop tune in Times Square and he loves it. He also starts dancing with them and goes on to decide that he is going to start living in New York now. The next day, Jamie presents Dylan with the contract to sign so she can land her commission for recruiting him. Not knowing anyone else in the city, he and Jamie quickly develop a friendship. As Dylan starts going to work, he also ends up becoming friends with a colleague named Tommy. As they talk, Jamie goes on to tell him that this contract is going to be for a whole year, but he can still leave whenever he likes, but she does tell him that she would not really advise that. Dylan then asks Jamie if she would like to go on lunch with him, and Jamie thinks he is asking her out for a date and tells him that she is the only friend he has in New York City, and if they start dating, things could end up getting weird for Dylan. Dylan, however, tells her that he was just asking her as a friend, and after that, they go to a restaurant. They then start talking and the conversation goes on. It turns towards their exes and they share what their exes used to say about them. These two are always really honest with each other and because of that, they have a strong bond now. Jamie then goes on to tell him that she is going to throw a party at her place and he should come to that party because he might be able to make more friends there and he agrees. He comes at the party and gets along with everyone out there. He has a lot of fun. As days go by, they start meeting each other on a regular basis and they are always fun and enjoying each other's company. One evening, he comes over to her place to watch a movie with her. Jamie says that she loves romantic movies and Dylan says that he thinks all the movies are just of the same type as the people in there are just trying their asses off to maintain good romantic relationships. He tells her that loving someone should not be so complicated and Jamie right away agrees to this. Jamie goes on to say that all of them have physical needs and in order to be able to fulfill those needs, they should not have to go through such mess. Jamie says that it should just be like playing tennis, all physical. Dylan likes the way she thinks and goes on to ask her if she is willing to play tennis with him. This means he is proposing that they are going to be in a purely physical relationship, but there are going to be no emotions, no jealousy, no commitment. Jamie, however, points out that they are not even attracted to each other that way, and when they take a test, it turns out they are attracted to each other. After having set some ground rules, they go on to get intimate with each other without actually getting into a relationship. They have decided that they are always going to be good friends and that there is going to be no problems in their arrangement as long as they keep doing just that. Days go by after they spent the night together. One day, Jamie comes to his office and she wants to talk to him because they have been a little awkward to each other lately. She comes to him and tells him that there should not be this awkwardness between them if they're going to have this arrangement they talked about. 
They then decide that they are not going to do it again because they do not want to ruin their friendship, but that night when they are hanging out again, they end up sharing a wild, steamy hormone sandwich because they are not able to control themselves. One day, they are sharing a wild, steamy hormone sandwich, and just then, Jamie's mother walks in on them, and she tells Jamie that she is glad that Jamie found a nice boy for herself, but Jamie goes on to explain the whole arrangement to her mother, and the mother likes it. Jamie's mother tells them that she also hates commitment, and ever since she got divorced, she has never settled for one man. One day, Dylan and Tommy are out for their workout when Dylan goes on to tell Tommy about the arrangement he has with Jamie, but Tommy tells him that this is never going to work because girls look at things in a different light than boys. Weeks go by just like that. They are having wild, steamy hormone sandwiches regularly, and one day, Jamie realizes that she misses going on dates, so she wants to go on one. Jamie tells Dylan that she might want to be in a serious relationship now, and Dylan tells her that he is willing to break off their arrangement if this is what she wants. They then go to a garden where Dylan sees a beautiful girl standing alone, and he tells Jamie that he might be able to date her, and Jamie encourages him to approach the girl. When he approaches her and asks her out, she goes on to tell him that she has kids and a husband, and when he comes back to Jamie to tell her about it, she has a good laugh about it. Jamie herself then goes on to approach a boy. She talks to him, and he turns out to be a doctor, and Jamie says she's going to go on a date with him. The scene then changes to later that night when Jamie is on a date with the doctor. They like each other's company. The boy's name is Parker. He asks her if they can go to her place because it's closer, but Jamie tells Parker that she has this rule according to which she does not take a boy to her place until the fifth date. Jamie then tells him that she always imagines a hero coming for her, her Prince Charming coming to her to save her from the world. Jamie and Parker now start dating regularly, and in the meantime, Dylan is not having a good time. He feels lonely now that Jamie is not available for him. He tries dating other girls, but he has no fun doing that, and keeps missing Jamie. Jamie and Parker are now on their fifth date, and they end up sharing a wild, steamy hormone sandwich at her place. When she wakes up the next morning, she goes out to buy some donuts while Parker is still in her bed. But when she is about to come back from the donut shop, she sees Parker leaving. He was about to get out of there without telling her anything. She asks him where he is going, and he tries to come up with lame excuses. She right away understands that he has gotten what he wanted, so now he wants to leave. She tells him to get out of her sight, and Parker tells her that he is not the Prince Charming she wants to have. Jamie is upset, and they break up right there. That evening, she finally meets Dylan and tells him the whole story. Dylan tells her to forget that boy because he is a really crappy person. Later, Dylan shows up with a painting which Jamie loves and had expressed his desire to buy. Dylan gets her the painting just to cheer her up. Jamie gets home to find a note from her mother who has told her that she is not going to be home for the next few days, and Jamie is really upset about it because the holidays are there and they were supposed to spend some time together. Jamie tells Dylan about it and he tells her to come to his place, adding that she is going to get bored at her place alone. They then get on a plane and fly to LA where she meets his parents and Dylan's sister as well. Dylan's sister named Annie and his dad love Jamie. We then learn that Dylan's dad is going through a mental illness because of which he forgets even the most basic things, and he does some embarrassing stuff, so Jamie is warned about that. He even forgets to put on pants at times. As they spend their days there, Dylan at times gets embarrassed by the things his dad does, and in the meantime, Annie and Jamie spend a lot of time together and they have now become good friends. That night, when Jamie is in her room, Dylan comes to her wearing only his robe, and as he is about to take off his robe, indicating that he wants to do it with her, she tells him to wear his robe. They then just sit together and talk and have a quality time together, because they have not been able to talk in peace like that for a while now. They then start talking about the way they feel for each other, and both of them end up telling the other person that they are special for them. As they talk, they come close, and the next thing we see, they are making out. When he comes out of her room later that night, his sister sees him and she starts suspecting some stuff. That night, they go to have dinner with the whole family and Dylan's dad again does some pretty embarrassing stuff and Dylan is again upset and embarrassed about that. The next day, he takes her out to show her around the city and they go on to sit on the huge Bollywood sign. Dylan is scared at first, but she makes him sit there. As they sit there, she goes on to tell him that he should not at all be embarrassed of his father. It does not matter what the other people think about his old man, he is his dad, and he should look at him in a way the son is supposed to look at his father. When they get back home, Annie goes on to talk to Dylan about Jamie. She asks him what has been going on between them. She adds that she has been noticing them for days now, and she has come to the conclusion that they are perfect for each other. Dylan tells his sister that they are nothing more than friends, and he adds that Jamie is really damaged so she cannot stay in a relationship with him. Jamie, however, hears all this, and Dylan does not notice that she was there all this time. She takes a ticket back to New York, and Dylan also comes to New York after a few days. 
Dylan tries to get in touch with Jamie, but she just keeps ignoring him. He tries to reconcile his friendship with Jamie and find out why she's been ignoring him. He finally finds Jamie and she informs him she overheard everything he said and has no interest in maintaining any kind of friendship with him. Soon after this, Jamie discovers that Dylan may be leaving the GQ position for another job, which would affect her commission. She confronts Dylan about this, which leads to another argument. Both begin to do some soul searching trying to come to terms with their feelings about their relationship. Jamie spends some time with her mother, while Dylan discusses it with his sister over the phone. His sister informs him that their father, who suffers from the early stages of Alzheimer's disease, will be flying to New York and he needs to be picked up at the airport. While eating at the airport with his father, his father, in a moment of Alzheimer's-induced confusion, incorrectly recognizes a passerby as a woman from his past. Dylan asks him about this woman, and his father, upon regaining his lucidity, says that she was a woman that he met in the Navy, that she was the love of his life, and regrets decisions he made in his youth to let her go. Dylan calls Jamie's mother to set up an excuse for Jamie to go to Grand Central Station, where he surprises her with a flash mob dancing to jump and closing time. After confessing his feelings to her and sharing a passionate kiss, Dylan suggests they go on their first real date. They go across the street to a cafe and are unable to keep their hands off each other, and the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.